Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Wednesday, July, I'm um, not July, June 30th. <laughs> so I say June, but anyways, it's Wednesday, so I was watching work on Wednesday. <laughs> I missed last week, but I'm feeling better this week, so uh, I wanted to do it. <laughs> so this win this Wednesday, I am working on a new whip. Actually, I'm working on a couple whips today, because <laughs> I'm trying to get my moving stitch squares done. I got two of them done, and I'm, I'm working on the L one. <laughs> And I was hoping to get that video out today, but if I do, it'll be this evening or tonight. Because <laughs> it's already like 12 and I'm doing this now. Anyways, I'm working on a new amigurumi. So, I got this book gifted to me. And this is the book I'm using, obviously, because I just said that. <laughs> it's called Sweet Crochet Friends. 16 amigurumi creations from a name that I don't want to say because I'll mess it up. And I don't want to do that. That's always my place. But here's the book. <laughs> I'll link it below. There's the uh, person's name. But I'll link it below if you want to check it out. But there's a ton of patterns in here. It's super cute. I have a bunch of them marked. But the one that I decided to work on first, actually I asked Devin. I showed him all the ones that I want to make. Um, and asked him which one I should start with. And he, me and him both agree. This one. The cute little lamb. Yes, I'm a, I'm a dog earer. I know a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of... Uh, People who love books don't like that, but I, I'm the kind of person who folds pages and also write in books. I write notes and stuff, and I know a lot of people don't like that, but that's just how I am. Anyways, it's called Lily the Lamb, and I believe it's made with um, DK weight yarn. It just says the type of yarn right here. Sheepies, or how we say that. Uh, but I think I looked it up and it's like DK weight, really small. Maybe even smaller than that. And like a B hook. A B and a C hook. But I'm using worsted weight yarn, and an F hook as my go to. So I'm pretty sure my limb's gonna turn out pretty big because I'm working on the head so far. I just started it. Pull up some slack. And I haven't started, I think I did like one decrease roll so far. So that's the head, the size of the head's gonna be. So it's gonna be pretty big because there's my head. <laughs> it's like a baby hat. But I did just do one decrease row. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty big limb. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna use for the dress yet. I got some yarns in there, different ones that, um, I just haven't got the far, I just started the head. I don't know, I wasn't thinking. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's gonna be really cute. I like the little pattern, because it's working on the head, and then the arms and some of the legs and ears are white. I guess there's a body under there that's white. I don't know. Yeah, the, bo the body is white. I need to buy more white then, because I have this Red Heart, um, Super Silver White, and I have another ball about the same size as this, and that's all the white that I have. I have a ton of soft white, and another one that's like an antique white, but you know, it's not the same. And uh, when I was looking to start this pattern, I was like, where's all my white? And I guess I used it all because I can't find it. So I'm gonna have to purchase another ball of white. But I'm excited, I think it's adorable. I'll probably make the dress and stuff pink, because I love pink. I'll look and see what I have all <laughs> in there. Um, Something, because this is like an ombre top yarn. It's pretty. I kind of want something like that. I don't know. We'll see. Um, yeah. So that's what I'm working on this Wednesday. Just barely got started. Really cute pattern. It's going to turn out huge. Because <laughs> I'm using bigger hook and needle. But that's okay. That's my elf hook. Hook and needle. Hook and yarn is what I meant. But yeah. So that's what I'm working on. I'm also working on my L square. I got my J and K one done. And then I'm going to try to get my L one done today. And then I was going to put my video out today, but I don't think I'll have the time to make it today. So I'll, it'll come out maybe tomorrow <laughs> or Friday or sometime. Who knows? <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's what I'm working on this Wednesday. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys are working on. If you're working on a new pattern or same pattern <laughs> or if you're working on anything different. Uh, last week I was sick on Wednesday, so I didn't do anything. <laughs> so um, I hope everybody's doing well. Here's the book again. I'll link it below. I want to make this little, it's a goat. It says it's a goat, but it looks like a cow to me. And a bunny. I have a whole bunch of them marked. I don't know if you can see them. <laughs> but, um, yeah, there's a bunch of cute patterns in here. I love it, love it, love it. Little hippo. But, yeah, I think I already said everything I need to say. <laughs> I'm getting distracted. Anyways, uh, it's kind of gloomy here today. So, the lighting may not be the best. But, yeah, so the 4th of July is coming up. I hope you all have, everyone who's celebrating that, you know, it's in America. <laughs> um has a safe holiday it's sunday we're gonna be going to a family member's house who's doing a fireworks show so that'd be nice but yeah so no other plans this week i don't think i'm gonna try to get that square done and get that um moving stitch video out because it's been like 
a month or so since I did a moving stitch um, update. But after I get that L one done, I'll be caught up because today's the day that the L one was supposed to come out, anyways. So then I'd have two more weeks to do the next one, which I have no idea. I don't know what my M movie's gonna be. I don't know. I have to look. <laughs> I might do. Well, I was thinking about maybe doing Moana, but a lot of my squares have been blue lately, <laughs> so I don't want too much blue on there. But yes. Anyways, I'm gonna hop off here because I'm just babbling. But yeah. So. That's all I'm working on right now. It looks like a bowl. <laughs> uh, someone asked about my plants the other day if they were new. They're not new. These are the ones I bought in spring. I know I have some pictures somewhere of uh, when I first got them. And they've just gotten huge. This is a pothos. It's gotten very large. It was almost dead when we bought it. Its dirt was like completely dry. And um, it only had like, I don't know, 10 leaves. And now it's huge and it's slowly starting to spill out the side. This is a mini ivy. It's growing. It's doing all right. It's struggling a little bit, but I think it's just because it doesn't get good enough lighting. Because <laughs> if I leave the windows open, um, it gets hot in here. And then my golden fleck has gotten huge. When we bought it, it was like that tall. And now it's like two feet tall. <laughs> it's doing really good. It's over there in the sun. And then I also have a snake plant. And we still got the angel one. It almost died, but I brought it back. And then I got a new plant. <laughs> I've become a plant person. This is my new plant. It's a ficus. <laughs> when I bought it, it only had the four leaves. This right here just opened the other day and there's already another one growing right there. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to having a big ficus. I bought it because it has like a pink color on the side. I thought that was really pretty. It was almost dead when we bought it too. that's my plants <laughs> I will try to maybe we can take a picture of the gold flick to show you I don't know if you guys remember seeing that a long time ago <laughs> I think it was April when we bought them March or April I can't remember <laughs> but they're doing really good I'm keeping them alive I'm excited I can't wait for my pothos to get to where it hangs and I'm going to start um, taking clippings from it and making more plants because my mom wants one and stuff but I want to wait and let that do really good first before I start cutting on it but it's got a lot of new leaves opening up. Here's a new one. You can always tell when they're new leaves because they're shiny. There. It's doing good. I like it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to hop off here because I'm just blabbing now at this point. <laughs> and I'm going to go in the living room and probably crochet some and watch some TV. That's my plan. <laughs> so I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.